But we are very happy to see you back here. Uh, the third of your group is still back in uh, China. Uh, but you are here and we don't want to make this afternoon a, a session of speeches. So I think I will only say two things. I want you to ask yourself, like, number one, why is Alan Gao uh, spending thousands of kina to bring you back here to TND? And he's so interested in you. I think you, we, we, you have to ask that question, to answer that question. Why is, why is he so interested in you? Why does he ask you to wake up at 6 o'clock and then give you a bush nut to go cut the bush and do all this work? I think there's a reason behind that. And it's very important that unless you find that reason why Aaron is doing that, you will know the answer. You'll find the answer and you'll be very successful in life. I think he wants you to change. He wants you to change in the way you think, in the way you behave, and how you, who you are. The values you have, the principles you have, the attitude you have. He wants to see you change. Ah, it's, it's not like, it's not. It's be something for us to change, be somebody. So, I want you to realize that. That's number one. And number two, why is the government of PNG, uh, why did the government send you to China? We have to answer that question, why? Why are you only the 1% of every student that is completing grade 12 to be chosen to take the scholarship? Why are you one of those 1%? So you must consider yourself as a very small, unique group. There is a reason behind that. And I want you to know why you are being sent to US, to China, to India. There is a reason. And Minister has already stated that. You must know that when you go to China, when you complete your studies and come back, you must never be a civil engineer like the one in Papua New Guinea. You must never be like a that profession that we have here in Papua New Guinea. Your mindset has to be changed. You must come to make a difference. You must add value to what is here already. We have got civil engineers, we've got mechanical engineers, we've got all these different trades. But the qualification that you get, the experience that you have and when you come here, it has to be higher than these qualifications that you have gained here in Papua New Guinea. Then you will show, you know, I was telling uh, the group that was here last, uh, last Thursday when we were traveling them, that the, your parents, they are going around boasting, that, oh, China, US. They are very proud huh, of you. True? They are very proud. Amongst the peers, they are very proud of us. Their child has gone to the US or gone to China or gone to India. They're very proud. The same thing, the governors, the ministers, the government, those of us in education, those gentlemen at the back, we, we have a very high expectation of you. We are proud of you and have very high expectation that you will be somebody, that you will come back to make a difference in our country. If you don't come back and make a difference, then you waste your time. You must come back and make a difference. So, we said something last year when we went, uh, this year when we went, but I'm just emphasizing and encouraging you that you are special, 
but you must make a difference. You must add value to what is there already. You must not come and just be like add color. No, you must make a difference. So, and the song, uh, two major message to start. One, why is Alan Gao so interested in you? You have no answer for you. Huh? I have no problem with you. Are. But it's, 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 it's somebody who's very interested in you know, helping and investing in the youth and the young people of Papua New Guinea. So we must pay that kind of investment that is made near to pay back. Not by giving him money, but for doing what he expects us from. Uh, each one of you are. So that's important. The second is the government, the parents, everyone has got very high expectations from you. So when you come back, you must have a high standard. You must have a high value. So you don't come back just like being a civil engineer or making the engineer. No. You, your level must be high. Right. So thank you very much. Hopefully we will uh, catch up again. But we know that you, you can do it. We know that you're the top one percent, that you will make a difference. You will make it. So we're just setting a little bit of salt that you want to make your soul feel good at you, but feel real about yourself. Thank you everyone.